Sunday, June 24th marked day two of our Hokkaido Hawaii Girls Softball International Aloha Games. After a series of games to start the day, coaches and players from both Hokkaido and Hawaii joined forces and created a half Hokkaido, half Hawaii super team. Here are highlights of the split team game series, definitely one of the most memorable experiences for players, coaches, and families on both sides, Hokkaido and Hawaii. The Maui Pearls combined teams with the girls from the Poana Muri Sanai High School, forming the Monkey vs. Dolphins game series. Combined Ishikari Hanakawa, Hanakawa Kita, and Ishikari Tarukawa Junior High Schools joined up with the Strikers 14 new girls to form Team Unicorn versus Team Oki Bakatari. And no, that name was not Uncle Pelly approved. The Strikers 18-year team and Sapporo Higashi Commercial High School joined forces and became Team Be Happy versus the ever humble and modest team referring to themselves as the In the case of the Be Happy versus Winners game series, both teams kicked out the coaches and decided to coach themselves while having lots of fun. In each case, the combined skill levels made for a very enjoyable series of games with lots of cheering and dancing. The Hawaii teams were unaware of Japan's senpai and kohai system, where kohai, also known as understudies, beginners or new younger team members, aren't allowed to play. During game time, they watch, cheer and support their senpai or upper class members. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Who, who did not hit? She didn't hit either. Go hit, go hit. Go hit after okay. her. After her, go hit. As the games progressed, the strikers and pearls sort of rewrote the rules of that system just for that day, having younger team Kohai members join in on the fun. As the Hokkaido Hawaii Girls Softball International Aloha Games came to a close, we started the final ceremony. Aloha! Final message from me today, from, from Hawaii side to Hokkaido. Again, we have some unforgettable memories that were made in the last two days and friendships that I think are going to last quite a long time. You know, I'm watching a team over here swap players out that just they don't play normally. And that's just the Aloha spirit. And of course, from the Japan side, Hokkaido side, just rooting for our teams and for our people. That's something that it's just, it's just blows my mind. It's just the most amazing thing. Two other coaches from both sides, of course, Coach Shan, Coach Lei, Coach Blaine, Coach Baba, um, all the families for bringing the kids out here. And I know you kind of, John, kind of bought to pick which one you want, but you brought everyone out here, all the families, and of course, to all the teams here in Hokkaido and players. Thank you very much. I love you all. Michael, oh, yeah.
After an epic weekend, the Maui Pearls, Strikers, and their families spent quality time enjoying Hokkaido. This race is different. Mm -hmm. The first it's sweet. Like it's super it sweet. Like it's the first time I eat oh a whole shrimp. Yeah. Girl, you nasty. <laughs> you should try it. It's really good. Amongst the many, many highlights during this tour, one of my personal favorites was having my Hokkaido little sister, former Love Hokkaido fan favorite, Isis, along with us from day one of this unforgettable adventure. We're gonna have a one hour and 40 minute bus ride. So before you pass out, I'd love to explain a few things about the next location we're going to and a little bit about who I am, just so you know. So my name is Isis, I'm Canadian but I came to Japan almost 10 years ago and it was my dream to do something with TV and radio. That dream came true and thanks to that I could meet Pali, who is the amazing host of Dokuga TV. Hi. Yes! Hi. Elena loves Pali, so... Right, Elena? <laughs> All right, yeah, and so we were able to do the TV show Love Hokkaido together. And I love Hokkaido with all my heart, that's why I'm still here. And I got the opportunity to travel all around the island to taste the food, try out all the activities, and just explore and explain it to all of you wonderful people in Hawaii and other countries in the world. So right now we're headed off to Otaru, Otaru City. It's right beside Sapporo City. Otaru City, it's a port town, and it was the first, one of the first port cities in Hokkaido, also international-wise too. The other thing is because it's a port city, the seafood is really good, so you can walk around and try some of the seafood. Unreal, fresh. Woo! Unagi. Melt in your mouth, unreal. Oh, this is unreal. Yeah. Unreal. Winner. One of the 
of the most famous things you can eat there is this cheesecake from a famous place called Lutao. And that cheesecake is so good, as soon as you put it in your mouth, it just melts. <laughs> so if you like sweets or cheesecake, please try that. They also have a special cheesecake soft cream. So it's like the soft serve ice cream with cheese flavor in it. And that's some people's favorite in all of the island. So please try that if you want to have, if you're having one soft cream a day in Hokkaido, this is the one you should try, okay? <laughs> There's also like a multi-layer soft cream with different flavors. So many layers, like maybe six or eight layers of different flavor soft cream and that's, that one is pretty good too. Just you gotta be sure to eat it before it all melts. <laughs> it's so good, it's my first ice cream in Japan. Hokkaido no Sapporo Shi Odori Alright, we're cruising here in Odori Park in the middle of Sapporo City. Aloha! Aloha! She's special. <laughs> but she's special. Butter Kit Kat. Yep. <laughs> Everybody want taste? Yeah. Okay. So I'm here in Hokkaido with two of my favorite people. Two of the three, the other ones at work right now, her husband. But we have Elena. Hello. And of course, my sister Sapporo Isis. Hi everyone. Yes. Aloha. We love Hokkaido Isis on Dububa TV. I'm so honored and special. <laughs> Now, uh, we were here and I asked for her help because we had the very first Hokkaido Hawaii International Softball Aloha Games uh, in Ishikari City and it was fantastic. Yes. So now the groups, of course, we split up. We're in Sapporo Station, everyone's shopping and eating. And we got the eating group. Of course, Baba Mohoi and his clan uh, were actually waiting in line for sushi. Yep. What you've had before? Yes, delicious sushi. Thumbs up? Yeah, come okay. on. <laughs> More adventures to come, of course. Here in Hokkaido, a very special Dokogai TV Japan Mania series for this Hokkaido and this softball wonderful, wonderful Aloha Games with my sis, Isis. Yay! Aloha. Oishi, oishikata. Totemo oishikata. The price wise was cheap, but the food, the grade, and the quality was excellent. Awesome. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> oh, so good, so good. Well, he probably is about 20 deep in front of him, for real. To get like 20 plates in front of him. I need a battery. Oh. Non stop eating. <laughs> After a fun day of shopping and eating our way through Sapporo Station, some of our thirsty group members hop the train back to Otaru for exploration of the historic Tanaka Sake Brewery. <laughs> I just my finger gone. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! So I'm excited. This is the first train ride. Yeah. <laughs> Tanaka Shuzo has been producing sake since 1899 and is one of Hokkaido's many treasures. The group thoroughly enjoyed the tour almost as much as they enjoyed the free sample. Yeah, that The Strikers HNU crew was off to Niseko. Known as being one of the best places to ski in the world, Niseko's winter activities has made it a hub of international ski and snowboarding fans. During the summer, Niseko offers a whole new array of activities, which Coach Blaine and the HNU crew got to witness firsthand. So, I'm gonna introduce 
do your today's guide. So please follow your guide and uh, let's have fun together. This is big zipper. Of course, as this was a great team building activity, no pranks, antics, or horseplay occurred. None whatsoever. Round one, fight! <laughs> Who fell in? Me! I, I pushed. pushed! She pushed me! Me too! What? I I pushed 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 me. So much fun. I pushed in Brenna first. Nice. First time rafting. It's exciting. Cold. Got, got wet. But uh, very fun. How much she got that? Our final sightseeing day in Hokkaido included a few iconic Sapporo locations and required eating. Of course, any trip to Hokkaido requires sampling some of their incredible seafood. Located at Sapporo Central Wholesale Market, Kitano Gurume's fantastic seafood sashimi bowls or kaisendon has been featured on numerous episodes of Love Hokkaido and Dokoga TV. Ikura, uni, salmon, toro, crab, and anything, and everything else in between, Kita no Gurume is the real deal. Fresh, very fresh. Oishi. <laughs> Kelp. Mm. Kelpie helps with cholesterol and high blood pressure. Good for skin and hair. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Some powdered wasabi. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Located on the eastern slope of Mount Okura, Okurayama Ski Jump was the host for the 1972 Winter Olympic Games. Our group got to enjoy riding the ski lift up to the top where they could see the incredible panoramic views of Sapporo City, as well as enjoy Hokkaido Soft Creek. and my family. <laughs> so happy to be here. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> You're the winner! <laughs> Family fun and favorite Maruyama Zoo opened its doors in 1951. With a desire to create a natural habitat for all of its inhabitants, Maruyama Zoo does house a number of furry and not so furry friends that surprised our 808 contingent. 
thanks to the perseverance of all those involved on both islands, not to mention the kindness and generosity of Hokkaido officials, Ishikari City Mayor and staff, Hokkaido and Sapporo Softball Sports Associations, the amazing Ohana at Nonstop Travel, with special shout out to Jean and Alana, JTB's Tomoko Valdez, and JTB GMT's Yukata Amaya, Hawaiian Airlines with huge props to Lucy, Bryce Fukumoto, and Cheryl Lee, an entourage of 160 Hawaii folks were able to share a life-changing experience via the ultimate show of friendship, good sportsmanship, and Hokkaido and Hawaii sharing of the Aloha spirit. On behalf of the Strikers and Maui Pearls, and of course, Team Dokoga TV, huge mahalo and our sincerest thanks to Nami Komo, Games co-producer, who without her, none of this would have been possible. Mahalo Nami. Folks, as always, mahalo for tuning in to this special video diary series. And we're getting ready for our second annual for June 2019 in Ishikari. Take care and all the best. <laughs>